Well, Neil, first of all, I got to say, I recommended many of these stocks on January 11th or before. I've got the report in my hand that I sent out to my subscribers, and here's the list. The short, st first of all, all of this nonsense, all of this noise, all of this whining by Wall Street, it's making me sick. 140% of GameStop was short. I didn't hear one person on TV complaining about Wall Street trying to crush GameStop. 140% short. I told my subscribers, buy this stock, and they made a fortune. I also told them to buy Virgin Space, uh, Virgin. We took profits on that today. Fizz, that's up huge. Tangers is up huge. Neil, you can't allow Wall Street to short 75% of a stock, and nobody says anything crush these companies into the dirt, and then when the individual investor makes money, everyone's up in arms. Oh, they're going to lose their shirt? Don't you think people are trading? If they traded 80 billion shares today, people are ringing the register. I have a kid who bought a house. He, had, he made $50,000 and bought a house. So, yes, yeah, some people are going to lose and some are going to win, but if, you wanna, if they want to change the rules of the game now because the general public is making money after decades of the shorts crushing thousands of stocks into the dirt, I have watched stocks being crushed crushed completely to zero, uh, and no one ever whispered anything because those stocks didn't have Wall Street sponsorship. They were small names. Maybe they went public through a reverse takeover. Whatever it was, the shorts have had their way with the market for decades. No one's ever complained about it. So I am thrilled. If you were going to try to destroy a company by shorting 140 percent of its stock, you have to accept the fact that individual investors are playing the same game that you're playing, and now you're losing.